I love you guys. I love you too. So beautiful. Thank you. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh. I know. I love you. Very early on, you had shown me kindness I'd yet to see in a man. To our first date of me talking nervously and spilling my guts. To us sitting in the car, just enjoying each other's time and driving around. Before I knew it, I was in love with you. It happened so fast and so early in our relationship. I'm sure it seems scary to those around us, but to me it felt so right and so natural. Like you had truly been in my life all this time. It was hard for me to open up to people at this point in time because I wasn't sure if those people would really stay after seeing the real me. I realized after meeting you that none of those people knew the true me. I felt more like myself around you than I ever have with anyone else in my life. You truly saw me for who I was and saw the amazing person that I can be, even though I didn't quite see it for myself yet. I have a set of cufflinks that are mismatched on purpose. One is a fisherman. My dad loved to fish. One is a stack of books. My mom loved to read. And I wear them as a memory to me that my parents are always with me. I want to give these to you so you'll never forget that that's what we are. We're there to be with you and support you and share in every walk of your life. Mitch began to stand out in a way that I think a lot of men here probably started to stand out to their future wives with a full reenactment of Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. <laughs> I didn't know it then, but I was meeting my lifelong best friend. From the moment I met Christian and his family, I knew I wanted to stay in their lives and be a part of their family. Two years of marriage, Mitch and Jamie, right here for you to leverage and support for your very special journey. Now, you get the special honor to give some advice of what it takes for 62 years of marriage. Give in. 